It's the sound of the wind skipping across a desert campfire, or the waves on a tranquil beach as the sun sets. The nai, or reed flute, is one of the world's oldest musical instruments. Paintings on the walls of Pharaoh's tombs show ancient Egyptians playing it. The reeds are coming directly from nature. We just clean it, make it straight, and it's an instrument ready to use. This idea for me was kind of magical, that the earth is giving us an instrument to hear the land. Rabia Zurakat's passion for the Nile is rooted in his reverence for the Arabic music of his ancestors. Five years ago, he decided he wanted to learn how to play the Nile. However, he couldn't find the instrument or a teacher in Jordan, even though the reeds grow in the valley of the Jordan River. He was saddened that an instrument that literally grew from his country's land and was enjoyed by generations of Jordanians was in danger of becoming an artifact. He spent days searching for the reeds in the wild and learned how to make and play the nai. The Nai taught me that life is more diverse because there is no reed like the other. Every reed is like a different personality. Each reed, I learned a new thing. Zurichat co-founded the House of Nai in 2017 to revive the instrument through lessons and concerts. Don't be fooled by this simple looking instrument. I still haven't been able to make a sound come out. Zurichat says he wants people to feel comfortable picking this up and playing it without aiming for perfection. To spread this traditional Arabic music, the House of Nai has been holding workshops in and outside of Amman, reaching hundreds of Jordanians. 16-year-old Tarek Rabah attended one of those workshops in the small town of Azraq. Now he teaches other children and is hoping to become a cultural ambassador. I want to attract tourists to enjoy the environment of Azraq. Teaching them to play the Nai is giving them a window into the musical culture of Azraq. Connecting the past with the present, crafting something from nature, and savoring the music across the generations. Zurichat hopes he's reigniting an appreciation of an art form that transcends music and can continue for many more millennia. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Amman.